Hello there. Today's recipe is definitely gonna be one that you want in your kitchen, in your recipe box, wherever you keep them. Because I don't know about where you live, but where I live in West Tennessee, it is so hot here. And I pulled out my crock pot, okay? So that is the perfect thing to use when it is the middle of July, August, and it is hot outside and you don't wanna heat up your kitchen pull out your crock pot. Who doesn't love crock pot recipes? Today, what I did was an espresso braised pot roast. Yes, I know that's not two words you hear together a lot, espresso and pot roast, but that espresso will just really bring out the richness and that deep flavor that's in the beef, and it just pairs so well together. I know you are gonna love this. You can also cook this in the oven. And in the winter time, that's what I do because I am a, um, I guess what you would call me a old schooler, I guess. I love slow cooking. Nothing beats slow cooking, putting a roast in the oven and letting it cook. But also the crock pot is slow cooking, but to me, you just don't get the depth of flavor in a crock pot that you do when you cook a pot roast in your oven. But like I said, I love my crock pot. I use it all the time and I love it, especially on hot summer days. As you can see, I already have the finished product here um, for you to be able to look at and just see all of this beautiful goodness. Look at the color in that crock pot. Oh my gosh, it is just beautiful. Now, just to let you know um, how we got to this point, okay, First of all, it's been cooking in the crock pot for about nine hours. Um, on I cook it on high for about three hours and then I'll cut it back to low and just let it cook on low. So there's a little bit of a process to this recipe. If you cook it in the oven, it's a little bit easier, but when you do it in a crock pot, there are a few stages that you have to stop and you know interfere with the cooking and add some ingredients but i mean it's not a big deal if you're going to be at home like on a weekend it's a great recipe so what we did was we have a beef chuck roast in the crock pot and then we added to that some spices i added some garlic some allspice some red pepper flakes, because you know I've got to have a little bit of heat in there, and some espresso. We can't forget about the espresso powder. And that's all it is, is a powder, like a instant coffee. So that's kind of the spices that we put in there. And then, um, as you can see, I've got some sweet potatoes, some red peppers, some onion, and what you can't see is crushed pineapples. That crushed pineapple gives a little bit of a sweet sour taste. And so this is a pot of goodness, okay? Um, if you could smell it around, if you're in the kitchen or you're at home and you smell this all day, your mouth is watering to be able to taste it. So let's go ahead and let's scoop it out. And you'll also notice that, see look, my roast is falling to pieces. That is a wonderful problem right there. Um, you'll see that I actually put my roast in the crock pot frozen. Okay, normally I don't do that, okay? Normally I like to do it with it thawed out. But I kind of forgot last night to lay my roast out and I definitely wanted to fix this today. So I just went ahead and put it in there frozen. So that's definitely something that you can do. Um, the main thing that you wanna remember, if you start with your meat frozen, you're definitely gonna have to add a little bit more cook time in there because it's gonna take it a little while just to thaw out the meat. So that's the only difference. You just need to add some uh, extra cook time on it if you start it frozen. Now, I'm just gonna arrange this on the plate. You can see how tender it is. It's just falling apart. Now, I'm gonna add these beautiful vegetables to it. The sweet potatoes are so soft and tender. Look at them. They're just like they're falling apart too. So now I've got all my little goodness out there on the plate. 
But what you don't want to forget about this juice, this wonderful, wonderful broth. Oh, and that's what the one thing I forgot to tell you. I did add some beef broth in here. So you want to make sure that you take that delicious broth and you want to pour that, just soak your roast in it and your vegetables because this is where all the flavor is. Um, so we want to pour that on top. As you can see, you need kind of a big platter if you want to plate it all together. Um, and also, this is a little bit much when you're cooking for two. So you know by looking at this that this is going to be more than one meal for us. But I don't have a problem with that. I actually like it because you know what? I don't have to cook tomorrow. We're going to probably have leftovers tomorrow. And another thing that you can do, which is awesome, anytime you cook a roast, you can make like a Philly steak sandwiches. You can use that roast, shred it up, put some grilled onions on there and some cheese, melted cheese on a hoagie. Wow, that's delicious. You can make a pot of soup if you want to. So there's always things you can do with leftover pot roast. So don't be afraid, even if you're cooking for two, go ahead, throw that roast in the crock pot, throw that roast in the oven. You'll just have several meals out of one. As you can see, this is a beautiful dish. I always say, your kitchen, you can do what you want, but what I'm gonna serve it with tonight is just something simple. I have some macaroni salad that I had made yesterday, and so I'm just gonna probably put some macaroni salad with it, but you know what? It's really a one meal dish. With your onions and your peppers and your sweet potatoes, it really doesn't need anything else with it. Maybe you wanna do some uh, bread, some type of roll or something with it, but really, you could just serve it just like it is. I hope that today you picked up something that you didn't already know, that you found something that you could take back and use in your kitchen. And I just want to thank you so much for watching, for joining me today. And also, I would just like to say, be sure and like, share, and subscribe. And you know what? Check out my blog at Cook It For Two. That's cookitfortwo.com. And if you haven't um, subscribed to my blog, you want to do that too, because that's where all these great recipes are. Lord bless you.